Well, this here is a test on um, the Voyager one. But, uh, yesterday I did use um, rubber bands and a spring tension system, and today I've just put hard drive magnets on the bottom of the uh, of everything and taken out the taken out the rubber bands. It works just the same. Um, they're just sitting there; they're not even glued in or anything. But yeah, this design is very much um, got lots of different ways you could uh, use it, really. These holes here, those three holes forming a triangle, are going to have magnets below it. And in these ball bearings here, are going to be in a sit on top and this here for instance can be remade into a triangle shape and then three ball bearings glued into it and then they can have a very quick sort of um, swap mechanism where you can uh, quick tool change between a hot end and a CNC router or a laser diode or whatever you want anyway that's today's update. It's printing a calibration cube. It's coming out all right. Seems to be a lot less vibration with um with magnets as opposed to the springs which uh, add to vibration because they create a spring but we'll see how this comes out in about 20 minutes Today I also added some uh, rubber interface between the um, between the motor uh, to see if it would make much of a difference this is made from a a rubber floor mat for a shower um, thanks to Plunkett and uh, it's made a little bit of difference to the vibration but I think most of the vibration is probably coming through this ball bearing uh, system here where the shaft is attached straight onto uh, the skate bearing and then that is attached straight to this here so it's going to be a bit of a hard one to get rid of all the vibration. I think I might have to put some rubber in between there. It'll be a little bit tricky, but uh, nothing's impossible. I'll get a smaller bearing. You can see here um, the strings are yeah, pretty common with Bowden extrusion. We can also see each layer come down 0.3 millimeter layer height. It looks awfully molten. I wonder if I've got my uh, temperature a little bit too hot. I haven't yet done a temperature calibration, but the strings are pretty uh, pretty minor, so it's looking really good. I've got a fan blowing from here. I don't yet have a fan attached to the uh, to the hot end or anything yet. You can sit and watch these for hours, eh? This here is the other uh, calibration pyramid that I done. This uh, didn't have a fan on it and had the spring assisted tension joints. Um, I think it was pretty sloppy quite frankly. There's some funny angles being pulled on the whole system. And even going up in the z-axis it's a bit wobbly. Whereas this one here has come out far better.
and I've left everything exactly the same uh, in terms of the settings. I just reprinted the same G-code file and uh, replaced the rubber bands with magnets. Uh, already I can see it's a much better system than magnetic, uh, the magnetic way. I still think there's a lot of calibration and fine tuning that needs to happen with uh, using a tension system. I've just set um, the heat down to 171 degrees to see if uh, that will make any difference. Now this part here is always a bit where it gets all sort of uh, yucky, but um, we'll see what difference a fan makes, if any. And so it's still set to 171 degrees and it appears to be printing fine, so maybe my um, thermistor settings aren't correct. to flash well it's certainly not bad Definitely a um, big difference compared to this. Oh well, room for improvement, eh? Comments and suggestions are most welcome. Cheers.